Joining me now is Robin Smith, and he's the CEO of Origin. Good afternoon, and thanks you so much for joining me. Yep, thanks for having me. Well, your company is a pre-public uh, biopharma company, so could you tell me in detail what you guys do and what's in the pipeline? Sure. Um, what we do is um, we make induced pluripotent stem cells out of people's blood. So what we ask is for um, individuals and patients and the general public to basically contribute a teaspoon of their blood to us. Um, we take that blood and then we convert it into induced pluripotent stem cells using four gene factors uh, that were discovered in Japan by um, Shinya Yamanaka back in 2007. He won the Nobel Prize for that in 2010 and uh, we license that technology from IPS Academia Japan as part of our platform. Um, what we do with those cells is we take those into our bank and we basically build um, a large repository of those cells uh, for use in diagnosing and modeling rare genetically inherited diseases. So one of the most interesting facts about induced pluripotent stem cells is they actually recapitulate the disease. And what I mean by that is if we were to take your blood, for instance, and take a teaspoon of your blood, we can reprogram it back into stem cells, which are three days old. Um, and then from those cells, we can grow your heart cells outside of your body. And when we grow your heart cells, they actually start beating just like your heart. And so if you had a genetically inherited disease such as long QT syndrome where your heart skipped a beat or um, became uh, um, in, in, uh, elongated from between the Q and T cycles, um, that would actually happen in a petri dish and we can actually look at that. Uh, we can then do things like um, use drugs or various different other types of therapeutics against those cells to see what works best and what's most uh, effective uh, for you. And Robin, now that you've given us an overview of what the company itself does, can you give us an idea of the financials and if uh, you've done any financing recently? Yeah, um, so uh, I'll go into kind of our, um, our fundraising uh, history to date. Um, uh, myself and Kate Blanchard are the co-founders of the company. We funded the company initially uh, with our own capital for about a year, year and a half as we were getting established. And then um, back in February of 2015, we closed a small seed round of financing of $3.1 million. Um, we followed that along in December of 2015, which is just a few months later, with a Series A round of $12.5 million. So we're just off of that round now and scaling up our operations. And Robin, since we are at a biotech conference and it's only the beginning of 2016, what are some trends you're seeing in the overall healthcare as well as biotech space? Yeah, um, it's really interesting. A lot of biotech and healthcare companies are talking about access to patients and patient advocacy and really getting patients involved more closely. And one of the um, most fascinating aspects about our organization is that we touch and interact with not just metaphorically, uh, but literally we actually put our hands on patients every week and take blood from them and get blood samples. So that's really important for us to have that direct connection to those consumers and patients directly. We think that that trend is going to continue because as people look for or more efficacious treatments, more personalized treatments. Um, we think having that access to patients is, is really important. The other thing that we see as a trend is this whole burgeoning world of regenerative medicine. There's an industrial revolution going on right now around this ability to reprogram cells and tease out different ways of growing tissues for individuals from their own cells. And we think that's a really important area for us to invest in and for our organization to be you know, pioneering. And before I let you go, since you did mention um, some key points there, I do want to ask you about gene editing and some of the hurdles that that faces in terms of regulation. Uh, what do you think will happen in the near future? Uh, near future is a good question. I think um, I definitely think gene editing and editing cells is very important. Um, I think it's uh, one of the another one of the industrial revolution trends that are going to happen in biotechnology. I. Personally, from our organization's perspective, we see gene editing happening on person's own disease tissues so that it gives them a chance to actually put their tissues back in their body or treatments or therapeutics that, that could help them. I think that's many years away. I think the approach of personalized medicine and gene editing is you know, a good five to 10 years, but it's gonna happen, it's inevitable. Um, I hope that uh, our country and the US is you know, gonna spearhead that effort and we really need to think about the policies that are in, uh, gonna be uh, implemented to actually enable our organization and other organizations like us to innovate and you know uh, move as quickly as possible okay Robin well thank you so much for joining me and thanks for all your insight yeah thank you very much yeah thanks for having us